Hey, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to determine the sizes of DNA fragments when a plasmid is cut by certain restriction enzymes. So let's say you have a plasmid, a piece of circular double-stranded DNA that is 2,000 base pairs long. And among all the A's and C's and T's and G's that make up the sequence of this plasmid, there are restriction sites. So let's say uh, about 100 base pairs in, there's an ECOR1 restriction site. And then at the 400th base, there's the small one restriction site. Let's say at the 1,000th base pair, you'll find the PVU2 restriction site. And at the 1,500th base pair, you'll find the PVU1 restriction site. A question might ask you to digest the plasmid with certain restriction enzymes. So let's simulate the digestion with ECOR1, SMA1, and PVU2. And so you'll have to tell me how many fragments will result when these restriction enzymes digest the plasmid and what size are the fragments. So in this whole plasmid, there are four different restriction sites, right? You count four of them, but we are only digesting with three different enzymes. So go ahead and cross off or mark where these three restriction enzymes are going to cut. Notice that this last site for, for PVU1 is cut by the enzyme PVU1, but I didn't tell you to digest with that enzyme. So that, that site is not gonna get cut because the enzyme is not present. Now let's first just determine how many fragments result. Well, if equal R1 cut and small one cut, then in between these two cut sites, one fragment will result. Between the small one site and the PVU2 site, there's another DNA fragment that's gonna result. And then the rest of the plasmid from the PVU2 site to the ECOR1 site is going to be the third and last fragment that results. So there's three fragments that result. So now that we know how many fragments there are, I'm going to just write them down so that we can keep them separate. And now we want to figure out the size. So to find the size of fragment one, you want to find the difference in base pairs between these two sites. So the difference between these two numbers will be 400 minus 100 gives you a 300 base pair fragment. Fragment two exists between these two different sites, between SMA1 and PVU2. So again, find the difference. 1,000 minus 400 gives you 600 base pairs. And I'll make a prettier box around this one. So now we have the size of these two fragments. And I still need to find the size of the biggest fragment, the really big fragment, fragment three. So if we add up the sizes of fragments one and two, that would give us both one and two. And then the remaining base pairs in the plasmid, that's fragment three. So fragments one and two are 300 and 600, giving us 900 base pairs total. So the remaining base pairs in the plasmid will give you fragment three. So fragment three is 1100 base pairs. Now this is not a part of the problem, but if you ever wanna check your work, you can add up the base pairs of all of the fragments that you just found, and it should equal the total size of the plasmid. So let's just add them up. Fragment one is 300, fragment two is 600, fragment three is 1100, and that gives you 2000 base pairs, the size of the entire plasmid. 